Vital, it's actually really easy to create a clock sound. And we're only going to need the sample section down here. So deactivate oscillator one and activate the sample section. And what I've found is that the check hammer sample here works really well. And so the main thing that we have to do now is to take an LFO and use this for the volume shape because we want a clock ticking sound. The shape is going to look like this. Now you pretty much already have your very organic clock ticking sound. So what we can do further is if you want the ticking to pan from left to right, then we can just use LFO2 and put this on the pan here and turn this all the way up so it goes from left to right. And to make what we want to do a bit more visible, we can use a shape like this. Depending on the speed of LFO1, you'll have to adjust the speed of LFO2. So we need this to be one bar long in this case, if you're using a shape like this. So now it pans from left to right. We can do some processing on this now, uh, just a compressor. Then maybe some EQ, especially after the compressor. We'll just cut the lows. And then of course some reverb. So this already sounds quite good. Uh, what we can do as well is we can draw in some more interesting patterns here. So maybe if you want this to go a bit faster. So with a shape like this, this is what it sounds like. You can uh, change the shape of LFO2 accordingly, depending on where you want these sounds to be panned. So if I want them to be on one side only, And with a shape like this, they are sort of in the middle always, going up and down. To demonstrate how this could be used in a track to create more tension and just add more details and make it more interesting, I've just prepared a really short teaser trailer type track. Let's just have a listen to it. Very simple, doesn't really use a lot of different elements. This is the trailer percussion that I made in Whitel in my last video. Now we can start adding the clock samples to this one. For the first half here, I would just maybe use this, but I want it to be a bit toned down. So I'm just going to use filter one here and cut the highs. Because I don't really want to give too much away yet. Maybe add a compressor here. So for the second half of this, just duplicate this. Now I would probably just remove this almost. And turn the volume down. And then we have this little break section in here. So let's duplicate this instance again. Maybe if I want to have it in there, I will probably remove this, cut the highs a bit more again. And now either just copy this one over here or let's duplicate it. Just remove the filter completely actually. Maybe adjust the volumes. I think now it's fine. So again, the entire thing. <laughs> 